secondary school funds uh, will reach uh, schools by tomorrow. Our, our foot is on the pedal. So as far as money is concerned, the schools are going to get money. But there is a pushback. But there shall never be any time that we shall be able to satisfy everybody. I've just spoken to Mr. Mayo, who is uh, in charge of all parents in Kenya, and a great majority of parents are indeed very happy that the government has been bold enough to open the schools. We are not being insensitive, but children must wear masks. They must wear masks in school. And I'm challenging every other person, should a child come to school without a mask, rather than sending that child away, make sure you get a mask for that child. I would like to plead with the parents and the teachers at the same time. But everybody is aware that COVID is here and it has had effect in every family, including my extended family. And therefore, we must treat our children with the love and empathy that is required. Therefore, as long as the principals will still do their work and we would want to ask them to ensure that no Kenyan child in the secondary school sector, the boarding secondary school sector for that matter, is sent home because of school fees. Every child must be admitted into school and the issue of fees will be sorted out later. Some, some, somebody has gone to court. Kenya is a government which is a, like a tripod. The judiciary, <laughs> the legislature, and the executive where we belong. And even you, your most humble selves, are free to go to court as many times as you want. So if something is in court, you should not even ask because it is sub judice. Let the courts decide. When they decide, then we shall get guidance from there.